showdown. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three match to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, it. I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Edmund, the golden boy, Shabazian. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So the fight is underway, we'll see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers last I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? These guys throwing early. Oh! Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strike on the ground. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Useful strike on the ground, that was. All right, 
So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, and he gives up his back. This is not a fighter you want anywhere near your backside. This could be it. I mean, this guy is so educated in chokes. He's so educated in terms of controlling positions. You're not going to roll around and scramble to get this guy off of you. He follows you with every bit of himself, and he's going to try and find that choke if you're not. Oh, you're see on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Big hard punch land. Now he gets back to range. Right hand on point. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Try to establish that jab. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Right there from the bottom, nicely done by Lee. Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. I try to go, I try to go. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel right next to the pole. Oh, now he's in trouble. Sleep with the arm trying. The moment he dropped his chest, it dropped all of his weight on his opponent's neck and put him to sleep. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. He's done, he's done! What a fight! Yeah, that's high-level jiu-jitsu there, and I know going into this fight, he felt like he was gonna have to be near perfect with his grappling and his transitions to force a tap, and he did one better here tonight. He forced the nap, so great technique to get the finish, and ultimately, he is your winner by way of submission. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it, Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the Octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Edmund the Golden Boy, Chapatia! So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a 